In this lesson, we're going to cover basic punishes. Why do we need them, you might ask? The answer is pretty straightforward. They are an easy way to score high damage against an opponent when that opponent is unable to block or escape. Hard hitting, easy damage is never something that should be overlooked and should eventually become second nature to execute when your opponent is vulnerable. So, what is a basic punish? A basic punish is a short series of moves that is easily executed and puts out relatively high damage. Now that we've covered the essence of what we're trying to accomplish, let's find out what Jury's basic punishes are. Jury's basic punishes all start and end in the same way. A medium or fierce attack to start, immediately followed by a fierce or an EX pinwheel to finish. Each has their own use, so let's see what makes, what makes each good in its own way. The first and hardest hitting is crouching fierce punch into a pinwheel. This does significantly more damage than the others, with the EX version capping out at 280 damage. The drawback to this particular punish is the necessity of being extremely close to the opponent. Next is Crouch Medium Punch into a Pinwheel. The EX version does 30 damage less than the previous variation, but can hit at a much farther range. Next is Crouch Medium Kick into a Pinwheel, and it hits even farther away than Crouch Medium Punch, but this can be tricky to land. This does do the same amount of damage as the Crouch Medium Punch variation, however. Next is Far Stand Medium Punch into a Pinwheel. This one works much the same way as the Crouch Medium Kick variation in that you can hit farther away, and it does an extra 10 damage. While it is easier to land than the Crouch Medium Kick variation, it suffers in that any block, high or low, will stop it, so if you aren't on the ball, you will miss your chance for free damage. Finally, is close stand medium kick into a pinwheel. Normally, you would not use this, since the two hits in the medium kick will lessen the overall damage of your punch. However, what makes this useful is that close stand medium kick is throw invincible. The takeaway here is, if you think you are going to get thrown, use this particular variation, and if the opponent happens to block the stand medium kick, you don't have to pinwheel. You can instead backdash or just block. So now the question is, when am I typically going to use this? Well, let's see some examples. It's the battle of the century. Fight! Let's set Ryu to do something that we know Ryu loves to do. Sure you can. Now if we fail to block, we're going to get hit. But if we do block it, there is a window of opportunity to make him pay for it. Let's see when Crouch Fierce Punch EX Pinwheel works. To play back. Continue. So at close range, we didn't have any problems punishing him for it. What happens if we're a little bit farther out? Ah, it totally misses. Okay, so at farther range, Crouch Fierce Punch isn't going to work. Let's try Crouch Medium Punch instead. And it works like a charm. Now that we understand which of our punishes are good, where, and when, the question is, how do I practice? There's a three-step process for this. First, just make Ryu stand on auto block and practice those punishes over and over until it comes out almost effortlessly. Second, once you can do those punishes almost without thinking about them, set Ryu to do a couple of Shoryukens in a row. Now block his Shoryukens and hit him with punish over and over so that you get a good feel of what it's like to punish a whiffed move like that. Finally, you need to take it to online and practice these punishes against real opponents. Now, not everybody is going to play Ryu, but that's good because you'll expand your knowledge 
of when you can and cannot punish with these basic punishes. At first you will likely lose points if you're doing ranked and be terrible at performing the punishes under stress. But with time it'll become a natural part of your play and overall you'll be stronger for it in the long run. I hope you found that informative. Good luck out there.